BI. Today I'm gonna show you how to use color style in Power BI using the HTML vs Creator. And I will create with you exactly like this board here by using color style in text, in icons, also the opacity of the background and the border. So let's get started. Got a new board and let's create a new major. So in this measure, I will create three paragraphs with the same style, but in different way. So color option. Let's start here by creating a paragraph and give it text in color blue. Okay, so now we need to add a color style in this text. We use style and we add exactly the, the color we want here by creating color and we type the color as example here, blue. So this is the first way to create, to give a color in a paragraph. I will show you now two other options. The second is to use the X code. So the X code of blue is this X code. And the third is the RGB code. The RGB code of blue is 0, 0, 255. So how did you know this two other option? You can easily go in Google here and type Xcode of blue and you will find the Xcode and the same thing of the RGB. So now what is the difference between the Xcode and the RGB? So there is no too much difference between them using an hexadecimal or RGB except that in CSS. It is possible to also add an alpha value so we will really have an RGBA color. This can be super helpful in if you want to control that opacity of color. That's what I'm gonna show you after this, is adding the opacity of the text or background or also the border. So now let's see the results of this color option. Let's create new HTML with creator search. And as you can see here, there is no difference between them in the result. You can use also the color for the icons. So to use it, I have already here a code of icons. I will create new measure. and give it a name of color icons and let's put our icons here so now i will just add same thing style and the color and you can type any color you want i can type as example pink color enter and let's create a new visual and give it the color icon here so here is the icon in pink I will add some on size to see it bigger For example, 100 pixels. Enter. And you will see now the pink color. Now we will go for the opacity of colors. The opacity applies to the wall element. So if you have a background, border or other effects, 
on that element, those will also become transparent. If you only want the text to be transparent, we use the RGBA color. So let's start by adding a measure to give you the example. We can create here text opacity. And we need to add a paragraph. So this is a text with 100% of passage. Let's close the paragraph tag and let's add style here. So in the style, we are using the color and in the color here, we need to use the RGB A. Now we add in a because the opacity so the first thing we create the RGB that we use tree number now the RGBA we will use four number okay so as example we will create a text with a 100% with black opacity so the black we create first the RGB code for black and we add in the end the opacity so I need it with 100 opacity so after seeing the result I will add more text with less opacity so here I will use it with here 15 percent here 55 and here 0 and we need to change the value of opacity here so we can see the results so now let's enter to see our results and let's create New HTML with Creator Search and give the text opacity here. As you can see here, you can see the difference between them. So the first is 100 opacity, and the last, there is no opacity, so we can't see it. Now I will use it for two other options. The first is about the background. And the second is about the border. So let's start with the background. Let's add a new measure. Let's give it name of background opacity. And here I will add exactly the same code. I will copy the code from the text opacity and I will show you what we are going to need to change. So what we are going to need to change here is adding a background. So add replace color with the background color. Let's do this in all this line. Let's add a background color. And now I will use as example the red color. So as you can see here we can create the RGB of red. And you can see here the RGB of red. Here is it. 255.00. So you can add it here. And let the opacity the same. So we need just to change one option here. Let's enter to see the result. 
here we need to create new HTML with creator search. Okay. And now let's give it our background measure. And as you can see here, the opacity of the background color. And we will do that the same thing for the border. So let's create new measure for border. Is the border opacity? Let's delete this. And also we need to change the value here by creating border. And with this value, we need to add the width of the border. As you can see here, I add one pixel. We can add two pixel or three pixels as we want. And also a solid border. So same thing. Let's copy this. and do the same for all the lines. So here we changed the background with the border style and we keep our red color here. So let's enter and create a new HTML with creator search visual to see the result. As you can see here, the background with 100 and we can keep on going just to see the zero opacity. Thank you so much for tuning in this video. We hope we found it informative and helpful. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon.